Are you going to ask me lots of horrible questions, officer? It's Inspector, actually. And I hope they won't be too horrible. Well, I'm sure they will be. Even though you have the kindest eyes and the cutest smile. You know, gentlemen, I'm sure this whole thing must have been a terrible mistake. You think so, Miss Brewster? Oh, yes. It's all such nonsense. As if anyone would want to poison Marina. She's an absolute sweetie. Everybody loves her. Including you? I have always looked up to her. She's such a brilliant actress. You know, it's a scandal she's never won an Oscar. Still, she has a year or two left. Wasn't there a little trouble between the two of you? Oh, that. It was nothing. She stole my lover. That's all. Jason Rudd. Isn't that hilarious? She's old enough to be his mother. You can't have been too pleased. <clears throat> well, I wasn't, but now I see it was the best thing that could have happened. I wouldn't have hooked up with Vinny otherwise. People say you were pretty furious. People say all sorts. Didn't you threaten to shoot her? Oh, sure. But I didn't really mean it. Miss Brewster, I have it on very good authority that you said, that bitch needn't think she'll get away with it. I'll get even with her in the end. Did I really say that? I believe you did. Well, I guess I was a little mad. We all get a little ruffled sometimes, don't we, Inspector? A little hot under the collar. But do you really think I would poison her cocktail within three minutes of seeing her again? Really, Inspector. I do think you're being a very silly boy. I don't deny that Marina can be a little tricky sometimes. But she gets away with it because we all love her so much. She adopted some children once, didn't she? Yes, but I don't think it worked out so well. I guess it was kind of impulsive. You know, like shopping. You get it home, then you think, oh, boring.